urge. You're going to be having a lot of urges. You're going to want to take off your clothes and touch each other. But if you do touch each other, you will get chlamydia and die. How have you been? <laughs> good, and you? I'm good. How far along are you? About six months or so. Do you know yeah. sex with a baby? Did someone say sex? Yes, we said the word sex. But not that kind of sex. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here to talk to you guys about safe sex. It is important to do it because everyone has been doing it since forever, and you guys should too. It's always important to wear protection. <laughs> and now you're gonna pregnant and die. Did die? No, just kidding, but it can help prevent STDs and pregnancies. Well, he didn't wear one because he said it was too big. Well, if you really didn't want to wear one, there's other forms of condoms, like female protection, like female condoms. But honestly, I don't think he was too big because it's never too big for condoms. I'm going to show you guys how to properly put on a condom and how they almost fit on anything. This is going to be the penis for demonstrative purposes. Okay. So, you get your condom, and you open it, but don't use like a fingernail or anything, because it's going to puncture, and then there's no point. And then you get the little pointy part, so then that catches all the fluids. You kind of put it, and then you do this. Now, this is the penis your boyfriend wish he has, because supposedly it's too big. Okay, so. Um, we're gonna put it on so we can see if it's really too big, and you guys are gonna help me, so. First, we're gonna pour this on. What is that for? Um, it makes it easier to glide stuff around. <laughs> so first, you gotta rub it around so it can get everywhere. Can you help me open the Oh condom? yeah, I like this red one. So you repeat the same thing. Put the little hats out. Okay, how you gonna help me, please? Oh. <laughs> And there you have it. Ready? Now we're gonna put it to the test. You guys can't have safe sex. No safe sex for you guys. Okay, but look, as you can see here, it is not too big. Ever. So I can't stress how important it is to have condom sense when you're about to bang. I mean, I got pregnant because I didn't practice safe sex. But there are many ways to avoid pregnancy by wrapping the jumbo shrimp with. Condoms is the only way to prevent STDs out there. Be safe. You don't want to end up like Charlie Sheen or his many women. They all got herpes. There are different ways to prevent pregnancy, like birth control and morning after pill. Th there are many different forms of birth control, like IUDs. They look like plastic urethras. Why do I care about this? You guys aren't even experts. You're not doctors. You can't tell me what to do. Well, you're a kid, and kids are having sex nowadays, so you must be having sex. That's not true. And anyway, the raps of kids that nowadays are risky. They don't even practice safe sex. So even if you're not sexually active right now, or not doing anything, it's important to know this for when the time comes. I'm not unfamiliar with sex, and if you don't practice safe sex, you will end up being pregnant like me, and not being able to pursue your dream of being a professional basketball player, and be happy. So either practice safe sex or ruin your life. And guys are so erratic, so you won't know whether he'll leave you or stay with you. And honestly, America's too overpopulated. We don't need any more people. 8.9% of Americans don't practice safe sex every time they have some intercourse. You guys should be sedulous when having safe sex. Don't be blanket on your view about safe sex. Don't have sex, because you will get pregnant and die. Don't have sex in the missionary position. Don't have sex standing up. Just don't do it, promise? Okay, everybody take some rubbers. But remember kids, the only way to avoid your pregnancy and STD or a profuse amount of sexual situations and complications by just doing that, avoid sex, AKA practice abstinence. But what's the fun in that? So just practice safe sex. STDs are mean and loud and will turn your whole life upside down, but it's not the end of the world. 
There are medications out there to help control it. Safe sex is like driving. Everyone should learn how to do it. Go again. Yeah. Okay, now this is the penis your boyfriend when she has cooked.